Let's move on to the next section, which is 6B3. And in 6B3, all we're going to do is we're going to use what we know about similar triangles to be able to answer some questions, okay? So uh, we have some information here. It says, suppose that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And here's triangle ABC, and here's triangle DEF. And you can see that some sides are noted. We have side A, side B, and side C. Over here, we have side D, side E, and side F, okay? Now, down here, I have a reminder. Remember, because these two triangles are similar, we know that A divided by D is equal to B divided by E, and that's equal to C divided by F, okay? And so here's the question. It says, if A is equal to 52, let me go ahead and write this stuff in. It says, if A, a is equal to 52. So over here, side A is 52. And side D is 38. 38, okay. And if side F is 18, that's right here, okay. Then we want to know, well, what is C? What is C equal to, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our proportions we're going to do our longer side of A over our shorter, or sorry, longer side of, of ABC, which is the larger triangle, 52, over the longer side of DEF, which is 38. Okay, so we're doing A over D. And we're going to say that that's equal to C over F. C over, and then F is 18. So what we've done here is we've created a proportion. A proportion is a fraction equal to a fraction, okay? So when we have one fraction equal to another fraction by 18 on both sides, over here, we're gonna cancel the denominator. So all we have left is C, okay? And over here, we're gonna do 18 times 52. 18 times 52, which is 936. So 936 over 38, but I wanna turn this into a decimal. So I'm gonna divide 936 by 38, and my answer is 24.632. 24.632, okay? And that is, so C is equal to 24.632, okay? And so we can put that right down, right over here. Side C is 24.632, okay? It says, suppose A is 97, C is 45, and F is 28. Okay, well, let's put those in on the triangles over here. A is 97, C is 45, and F is 28. And we wanna know, well, what is D? Okay, well, we're gonna set up the same fraction. Okay, we're gonna do A over D, A over D. Well, A is 97 over D. Oops, let me do that one. A over D is equal to C over F, which is 45 over 28, okay? And so now this is a little more challenging because the D is in the denominator, um, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, we can actually, there are a couple of ways that we can do this. There's one that we can do that many teachers use, and I am not gonna show it to you. You've already seen it before because it, it really, I've noticed in the past, it really messes people up. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna use that method. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna tell you that fractions, proportions, uh, 97 over D is the same thing as D over 97 is equal to 28 over 45. I don't know if you saw what I just did, but if you have a fraction equals a fraction and that's all you have, you don't have anything else, then you can flip over both of the fractions and you can do it the same way we did the last one. But that's not the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it a different way. The way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna do it the, what I call the long way, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply times 28 is 2716, okay? 
Okay, so I now have 27, 16 over D is equal to, well, over here, the 28 is going to cancel the denominator, okay? And all we're going to have left is 45. Now we're going to multiply by D on both sides, multiply by D on both sides. Over on the left side, it's going to cancel the denominator. Now we have 27, 16 is equal to 45 D, okay? And now we're going to multiply by 1 over 45 on both sides to cancel the 45. Multiply by 1 over 45 on both sides. Well, we know that 1 over 45 times 45 equals 1. And so that cancels and leaves D. 27, 16 times 1 over 45 is 27, 16 over 45. And so now 27, 16 divided by 45 is 60.356. So it's 60.356, okay? So D is equal to 60.356, okay?